let's rise to sing the first hymn, the three verses, We Plough the Fields and Scatter. This is the man who calls himself the Reverend Robert West, seen here preaching at a BNP rally. Robert West is a former Conservative councillor who defected to the British National Party three years ago in a move he described as seeking refuge from political correctness. No, we're not having much luck today. I think they saw uh, an opportunity that they could uh, project an image of respectability by having a, a reverend in their ranks. As long as they can pretend that they've got a, a Christian or a Christian leader in their ranks, uh, they think that they'll, they'll be able to fool voters with that. Hello, madam. Sorry to trouble you. I'm canvassing for the uh, 4th of June European Community elections uh, on behalf of the British National Party. Yes. And we wondered if we could count on your vote. No, thank you. No. OK, thank you. Robert West is also a leading member of an organisation called the Christian Council of Britain, which has been described as a religious offshoot of the BNP. This is the latest newsletter. It details what it describes as the shocking truth of mass immigration and even refers to the solutions sought by Adolf Hitler when comparing the mainstream party's policies on immigration. The only church, as I understand it, which acknowledges him as a member, is a church that he himself has founded. And the only organisation which seems to endorse his views is, uh, again, an organisation which is a front organisation for the BNP. So I think uh, we need to be very clear that Mr West, if he wants to promote his policies as being consistent with the Christian faith, faith is going to have to radically change his policies. Robert West insists he's no phony. Yeah, I attended the Apostolic Church uh, Training College uh, 1978 to 79 in South Wales and I was in charge of one of their churches which I ran in effect as a pastorate for two years uh, and this has not been bought off the internet it's a genuine article The British National Party believes it has enough support to secure its first Euro MP at the June elections but the BMP's opponents say they'll do everything they can to ensure the party doesn't receive a smooth passage to Brussels. And Tim is joining us live in the studio tonight. Um, what are the chances of BMP success then at the European elections in June? Well, like many of the smaller parties, they'll be hoping to benefit from the system we use to elect Euro MPs nowadays. It's one of proportional representation, where the number of MPs we send to Brussels, or MEPs rather, is uh, proportionate to their share of the vote. Now, five years ago, in 2004, the big winners were UKIP, the UK Independence Party. They beat the Liberal Democrats into third place. There's nothing to suggest the BMP will do that well this time round, but clearly opponents of the party are worried. And the issues that are likely to dominate the campaign? Are? Well, our very membership of the European Union, I think we'll hear that phrase, British jobs for British workers, so often chanted outside the Lindsay oil refinery in that dispute centred on the use of migrant workers. Now, um, all the mainstream parties will have a view, we'll be speaking to them in the run-up to the European elections. They take place on June the 4th. But it's interesting because the Bishop of Lincoln in that interview you saw a bit of there also talks about the mainstream parties and what he has to do to try to get what he calls disillusioned people back on side. More on that politics show this Sunday, later time, Peter, three o'clock Sunday afternoon.